I found 13 easy hire remote jobs with no experience required. And a lot of these jobs you can actually get into relatively easily and quickly. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it right now. So first one on the list is going to be a remote cruise vacation specialist. And this is somebody who remotely assists clients in booking and planning cruises. And they're often hired by travel agency, cruise lines, tour operators, and online travel platforms. And in this position, you can expect to make about $45,000 to $66,000 a year. Now, typically, they don't require a college degree or previous experience. However, a background in hospitality or tourism can help. Additionally, gaining practical experience through freelancing or internships can help you land a job as well. So yeah, this one is relatively good, relatively easy to get into. There's actually a lot of opportunities for cruise-related jobs in general. Some of them are remote, and some of them you would actually be on the cruise itself. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a listicle writer. Now you might be asking yourself, what's a listicle? Well, this video that you're watching is a listicle. It's basically a list of different things that people might be interested in. Interesting. And actually most content on the internet is a listicle. It may not present itself in the form of a listicle, but most content, no matter what you consume, is going to be a listicle at the end of the day because they talk about things in sequential order. It's the same. Now there's many different types of jobs you can work in when it comes to listicles. You can write blog posts, for instance, that are SEO optimized, or you can even be a listicle writer for YouTube. And I've actually hired several listicle writers for my channel and they help me do research and write the scripts for the videos that you see. And just coming from the perspective of a YouTuber, this was one of the hardest positions to hire for. It's really hard. And I think that's just because of the fact that it's a relatively new career and not a lot of people understand it or know how to do it. So a super easy way to get started with this would be writing for the company Listverse. And that's basically where you write listicles and then submit them. And if they get approved, you get paid for them. Another great way to get started with this. And I know a lot of other YouTubers that are hiring for this position is becoming a listicle writer for YouTube, or in other words, a script writer. And by the way, if there are any other YouTubers or aspiring YouTubers out there or business owners who want to start a YouTube, YouTube channel. I do offer several spots a month for my own personal coaching program where I will personally coach you on how to start a successful YouTube channel that solves real problems for real people and makes real money. So I'm very selective about who I work with. I typically only work with people who have already tried YouTube, people who have smaller YouTube channels that want to grow it, or people who have businesses, something like a coach, consultant, or online service provider. So if you're interested in getting my coaching, you can apply by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I've already helped a bunch of people grow successful YouTube channels. And who knows, you might be the next person that I help. So yeah, Listicle Writer is a pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a book reviewer. And one company you can work for is Book Browse. And this is basically where you evaluate and critique books. You share your opinion and insights through written reviews or other media. And various different types of companies hire book reviewers, including publishing houses, online book review websites, and freelance platforms. And book reviewers make about fifty-five to eighty-seven thousand dollars a year. So yeah, really good one. This would be especially good if you are someone who is very good at reading and writing, maybe editing, or you're someone who has just read a ton of books. <laughs> And it's pretty easy to apply for this position on Book Browse. You basically just scroll to the bottom of the website, find reviewing for Book Browse, click it, and then you'll be taken to an application form. You could also be a freelancer, for instance, and you could work on a site like Upwork. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So this one's pretty interesting. I'll go ahead and give it a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a Medicare advocate. And this is a professional that helps individuals understand and choose the right plan for Medicare. And if you're not aware, Medicare is basically insurance typically for older people in the United States. Now, a dirty little secret about this job that not a lot of people know is there's certain plans where if you get people on it, you'll actually get paid like sort of a commission for it. And so in many cases, you're sort of incentivized to get people on a certain plan. Now, this can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you're incentivized. So this is kind of a sales job uh, at the end of the day. But with that being said, Medicare advocates make about 52 to $80,000 a year. And as you can see, there's an additional pay of 12 to 23K per year. And that's kind of the bonus side of things. 
One company you could work for is Agency Solutions. And you basically just click sign up on the home page. Then it'll take you to a page where you just need to fill out your information. Afterwards, you create your account for them and you apply. So yeah, a little bit of a sales job, especially with certain companies. But if you want an actual sales job that you can make really good money with and like people actually understand that they're being sold to, tech sales is a phenomenal choice. And this is a career I've talked about many different times on this channel. I've also interviewed a bunch of people who have been able to get tech sales jobs and they didn't need to have a college degree or previous experience. For instance, Kevin went from a laid off construction worker to landing a $65,000 a year job in 29 days. And luckily, Course Careers does have a free course where you can check out tech sales, learn a little bit about it and see if it's a good fit for you and your personality. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But yeah, Medicare Advocate, pretty good one. There's a lot of these super random little healthcare related careers that are really good paying, they're relatively stable and they're easy to get into. I will give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a benefits agent. And this is a position where they specialize in crafting insurance solutions for businesses and in turn offering financial security and peace of mind. And they're often hired by insurance companies, brokerage firms, employee benefits consulting firms, and healthcare organizations. And a fun fact about this is Jackie Chan, if you're a fan of Jackie Chan movies like I am, and his team of stuntmen are literally uninsurable. And the reason for that is because because of the risks that they take while they're working. Insurance companies are literally unwilling to assume the financial risk. Now, benefits agents make about $53,000 to $82,000 a year. And this is another one where you don't need to have a college degree or previous experience, and it's relatively easy to get into. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And yeah, benefits agents, I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you like any of these careers or you don't like them, or you want me to talk about other careers, go ahead and comment below. And there's a very good chance that I'll see it and I'll talk about it in a video. Next is going to be a patient outreach specialist. Hey, what do you know? Yet again, another one of these random niche medical careers. Surprise! These are basically healthcare connectors that ensure patients receive seamless care by coordinating communication between providers, insurers, and the patients themselves. And they're often hired by healthcare organizations such as clinics, hospitals, and medical practices. And they make about forty to $57,000 a year. Now with this one, some companies prefer a bachelor's degree, but they don't really care what bachelor's degree you have. Other companies don't care. And they typically don't care if you have previous experience. There is training necessary to work in the job, but in many cases that training is provided by the company themselves. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a freelance editor for the company Readsy. And this is basically where you would edit things like scripts, blog posts, and articles. So you'd basically be doing the quality control on other people's writing. And Readsy is a really well known and established company. It's been featured on many different websites. And Readsy editors typically make $46,000 to $74,000 a year. Plus, of course, you can work outside of Readsy as an editor as well. There's lots of other job opportunities for this. But to apply is very easy. You basically just sign up and create a free Readsy profile. And once your application is accepted, your profile will be made available on the Readsy marketplace. So, yeah, editor jobs in general typically are a little bit higher paying than writing jobs. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Screen, you can check them out. And so I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an enterprise development representative. And this is a position where you're responsible for generating and nurturing leads for a company. Typically, this is going to be what's known as a B2B company, which means you're a business that sells products and services to other businesses. And this is kind of a sales position, but it's more focused on building long term relationships with different businesses rather than just trying to get the sale no matter what, like a used car salesman. And this is very similar to the tech sales job that I was talking about before. And you can check out that free training again down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now in this position, you'd make 80 to $131,000 a year. And this is a position that does not require a college degree or previous experience. Lots and lots of people have gotten into this without having any of those things and they make really good money. So yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a scheduler. This is somebody who coordinates appointments, meetings, and tasks, ensuring that everything flows seamlessly. And these positions are often hired in industries such as construction, manufacturing, healthcare, and event planning. And this is perfect for this video because it doesn't have a very high learning curve and there's lots of opportunities out there. 
plus you make about 40 to $59,000 a year. So yeah, another pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be an influencer outreacher. Now, a lot of brands are realizing that advertising with influencers is one of the most effective ways of making money. And there's many different ways to do that. There's affiliate marketing, there's sponsorships, and there's also what's known as UGC or user generated content. And companies are realizing that they're getting much better ROIs by advertising with influencers than paying for traditional ads. And you can almost think of this position like the talent scouts of the internet, spotting digital stars and guiding them towards brand collaborations. And there's a really interesting stat I just read about 86% of women using social media for purchasing advice. So that's yet another reason why it's very important that brands get on social media stars radar. Because if somebody searches your brand name and there's a bunch of positive reviews on YouTube or positive blog reviews, that can be a really good thing. Now in this position, you'd make about 46 to $68,000 a year. And it's relatively easy to get into. And in many cases, they like hiring younger people because they understand social media better. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is a program support specialist. And in this job, you're going to be responsible for the implementation, coordination, and management of various programs and initiatives within organizations. And you're basically going to be providing administrative support and ensuring their successful execution. And these are kind of the unsung heroes behind organizational efficiency. So these professionals are typically hired by government agencies, nonprofit organizations, educational institutions, healthcare facilities, and private companies. And they make about 49 to $70,000 a year. Now, in many cases, these companies will prefer if you have a college degree, but they typically don't care what degree it is. And in a lot of cases, they actually don't care at all if you have a college degree and you can get hired anyways. And in many cases, they don't care if you have previous experience either, but if they do care, they usually don't care what experience you have. So again, it's one of those jobs that are relatively easy to get into for a lot of people out there. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a content QA officer or a content QA specialist. And QA stands for quality assurance. And basically your job here is to double check online digital content for accuracy, consistency, and quality to ensure it meets the company standards and guidelines, including grammar, style, and formatting. And also you want to make sure that it aligns with the company's brand. And various different types of companies hire QA specialists, such as digital marketing agencies, e-commerce platforms, content creation firms, and online publications. And in this position, you could expect to make about 47 to $81,000 a year. So yeah, this is another pretty good one. Lots of opportunities out there, especially if you're sort of familiar with social media and familiar with the online world and you've spent a lot of time online. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. By the way, if you think of someone else out there that could benefit from these highly researched, highly curated videos that my team and I work so hard on, maybe it's a friend, a family member, or someone who just needs to make some money online, go ahead and share this video with them. I don't have a big marketing team or a big budget to buy a bunch of ads or anything like that. I rely on word of mouth in order to grow this channel. So I really appreciate if you do that. Next is going to be a media search analyst. And this is a very interesting position. And basically what you do here is you assess user queries and task information in various media domains, ensuring relevance and accuracy. And you're kind of like an undercover media detective who uncovers hidden insights within the news and social media landscape. And you might get hired by tech firms, market research agencies, and online service providers. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And media analysts get paid really good money, about fifty-nine dollars to $97,000 a year. And this is another one where they prefer to hire younger people. It's relatively easy to get into. In most cases, it doesn't require a college degree. Or if it does, they usually don't care about which degree you have. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're wondering what companies are almost always hiring, I actually made a video that went viral and it goes over 17 different companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.